So we, we could be attacking and just let the defence do a bit of defending. Let the two centre-halves defend and let Cassiedo cover. Because all this thing about having a DM, what's the point of having a DM when we've got a back three? It's absolutely pointless. It's if redundant, we're going to have, isn't if we're it? Going to have a Cassiedo try to be like a defensive midfielder, what's the point of having a back three behind them? It doesn't make sense. So mm. I think buying Cassiedo allows us to have a back two, right? I know everybody calls it a back four, but they're they're like wing backs. They're not like left backs, right backs. You know, you don't get people sitting in a flat back four. No, they're way past the halfway line. Yeah, yeah, especially at Chilwell. He he's up and he's up at the corner flag the other side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he is. It's crazy. Yeah. He's usually the most forward player in the team. Yeah, he is. Yeah, and everybody's like, "Oh, why is there no tracking back?" He'd, he'd have to sprint for two hundred yards <laughs> to get back. Uh, yeah, uh, metal face to stay healthy. Is, yeah, metal face doom is thanks. Thankfully, Cassiedo and Lavia unlocks the back four now. Just need the match fit ASAP. That's the thing. They're the match fit, buddy. Uh, hopefully, Cassiedo plays at least seventy minutes, starts the game, and Lavia. I don't know if he's going to come on, but this is that uh, everybody's like jumping on this bandwagon. They panic. And the two guys we've just bought, they're not even on the team really yet. I know Cassie Odo came on for a little while and stuff like that, but when these two guys are up and running, this Lavia was everybody's first pick earlier in the transfer window, and yep. then it became Cassie Edo. We are lucky enough to get these two absolute ballers. So these two absolute ballers are going to make our, our midfield sensational. Then you fling Enzo in there, you know what I mean? So everybody thought Enzo was an absolute baller. So we've got three guys in the midfield that are sensational. So that's going to make a difference because we've not had a solid midfield who can do a lot of things for a while. We've had people who sort of retained the ball. You had Kovacic went for little runs, but couldn't do anything, no end product where you've got, now you've got Enzo who can ping balls about. And this Lavia is press resistant. Cassiedo is an absolute beast. He jumps about like a canty. So what He's, do you think, he Roger? He reminds you think me of canty. Yeah, do you think we play the three? Because some people are saying we play the two and we rotate it. Do you think we're going to play the three one game a week? It's possible. I, I think we can see a combination where one week there's probably rotation and maybe a week or two weeks later you're going to play all three. It depends. And also it depends on injuries, isn't it? So... <laughs> Mickey Dryboy says, when they're bombing the whole game, that's when their leg falls off again. <laughs> it's true, though. That, that game where he was sensational, chilly, up and down, up and down, he was terrorising Juventus, and then his hammy goes. Yeah. Johnny Boy saying, Liverpool have done four at the back with full-backs, very attacking. I think we could be good like that. Yeah, I agree. The thing is, uh, the Pochettino's meant to have this ideal way of playing, and he's not doing that. And I don't like that, Roger. He's compromising, but he's maybe compromising because of his at the moment. What, what do you think, Roger? Yeah, no, that's a valid observation. And, and making top five, for instance, I think what's integral for us to achieve that is for Reese to be fit, come back, and 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 play in every game and not miss any more minutes because of injuries. I think he's pivotal. We're different when he's in. Yeah, I, I just don't like where we're sticking, we're, we're sort of shoehorning an, an extra centre-back and, and he's sort of playing a little bit out of position because they like to just be at the back and they control a certain part of the park. So we're sticking Caldwell out in the left and all that. It didn't really suit him. I, I would rather just have the back two and then have the other players just doing their normal roles. I don't like, I never really liked it with uh, Tuchel, this problem solving, they called him, but he was basically yeah. playing too many players out of position. Same with Potter. I think, yeah, Potter was really bad for it, like really bad. But it never really worked for Potter. It worked for Tuchel a lot, but uh, it, in the end it didn't. But it worked for him, we won a European Cup. But with Potter, it, it was terrible. Now, I don't want Poch to go doing the same the same way. He needs to get players playing in a position, get them to jail, get them used to their role in the team and all these different sort of transitions he wants. They need to be in a stable environment to be able to do that. Continuity. Or, 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 yeah, or else it's just going to be chaos in the time and we're never going to get any better. But I think clever managers like, experienced managers like Pochettino, he, he's done this for years, he knows what to do. So I've got confidence that he'll sort it out. 
I do think he's been flung a few curveballs, Roger. Uh, yes. He, he, he's, I think Nkuku no going down. Yeah, Nkuku and I think James' injury, those two have have been a very negative impact on the team with his plans. Really have, you can tell. Listen, he's playing with, with one hand tied behind his back. <laughs> the, the, the guys in the chat are calling the new goalkeeper Pete. You know, Petrovic, that's yeah, a yeah, yeah. We'll call him Pete. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have it right. <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Say, I say we revert back to a 4 2 3 1. I think we have the three ballers in the midfield, we have four at the back, and we could play three up front. But who's going to be our have... number 10, though? Uh, we, we maybe don't need a number 10. We could maybe go with Sterling one side, Mujic the other, or Noni the other side, and then you could have Jackson up front. You could have a front three. Remember, what we had the three, three boys three. up front, and it was Felix, Mount, and Havertz. So you're we talking about 4-3-3, have... three, three. is that what you're saying? Yeah, 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 4-3-3. Three, three. Uh, yeah. uh, the guy in the chat was talking about a 4 uh, It was indefinite. Two of them said the 4 2 three, one, But I don't think we've got the players for that at the moment. I think we've got to go 4-3-3. Three, three, three. Yeah, we can play Lavia in a couple of weeks. Yeah, but he's not ready now. But after no. this break, whatever we have, hopefully he's back 100%. Yeah, problem I, is, I, though, when we get to January or something like that, uh, we're going to lose Jackson. So we need one of the other boys Roger. ready, whether it's Burstow, uh, Burstow, Jackson. Broya. No, Broya. Broya. Who's the other one? Burstow, Broya. Uh, what's the other boy called? Oh, Whisper. I don't know if this whisper will come into the team. You could have that David Washington. We don't know what's going to happen with him. I don't know either. We might have a bunch of wee laddies behind uh, behind Jackson. And when Jackson goes away, we've got like three or four wee laddies. What do you think? <laughs> Whatever it takes, <laughs> mate, you know. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get an experienced striker in. I think we're maybe going to get an attacking mid in. Or, or a winger, another winger. Probably another winger. Because let's be, look at our depth. And winger right now. Who do we have? I I don't think Sterling can play a ten. I don't think he's got the technique. Somebody said no. in the chat. He, he's he's his first touch. His he touch is have awful. The, and then his he, passing. He's, he's his no. passing's no great. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's got that burst. See what he did in the last game. That's he played excellent. He was yeah, awful. That, that's what he does. That's all he's good at. He's no good at the other things. And that's why that's, I said he, he need to get him fit. We need to get him firing. And so the you wide what, forwards you've got. Noni Madweke, you've got Mudaric and you've got Sterling. That's three. And Mor Moreira and the reserves. Yeah, but re realistically, three starting quality players. We need another one. Now, I, I understand that Nkuku can play out wide also, but in a 4 2 3 1, we want him central. So, therefore, we actually do need one more winger. We do. Yeah. Uh... True Blue saying Metal Fist Doom. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was the wrong one. Uh, Mickey Droy Foy, I'll leave the finesse to Potch. Let's just let him cook whatever formation he wants. Yeah, but he has to get results. The problem, the problem with the whole thing, Roger, is if we don't start getting results, there's going to be a bit of pressure starts going on Potch because I think there's an element of the Chelsea fan base that are ready to jump on him oh, of because, he was, because he was Spurs. Spurs, yeah, of course. To be honest with you, had he drawn the, the West Ham game, it would have been okay. But you know, going forward, each game is going to be magnified even more so. Like, if he drops points against Luton, it, then it's, the pressure will start to legitimately start to, to mount. Uh, and definitely saying Tony in January. Do you think we take Tony with the baggage? I don't think they will, but I don't mind. Listen, the guy, he's he's clinical. He's a great penalty taker also. He's, he knows how to score in this league. He's a proven commodity. I, or, the only question is how much. Metal Face Doom is asking indefinite, so you would sign a 10 and leave the 9 out of this window. So would you take a Cherky and then go in for Tony or somebody like that in January? Yes. My feeling is we're going to have to do the business now because they're going to shut the loopholes. What do you think, Roger? Totally agree. 
So it's got to be done now or in the winter because next year they might be like closing the gates on us a little bit. I'm not sure what else they can close though. But you know, um, I'm hoping that we don't the, need the mortisation will be knocked in the head to five years because yeah, it already that. is. It already is. Ah, uh, but in Europe it is, but not in the Premier League. Oh, I see what you're saying. I, I see. Yeah, but it's irrelevant really because yeah, and then financial, only concerned, then yeah, the sustainability, sustainability comes in. Yeah. So no, the, thing that, to... the thing that concerns me is, I'm hoping when we get to Christmas we won't need a Tony, because hopefully Broya and Jackson are scoring enough goals to warrant that, that there isn't an, another number nine required. So that's my opinion. Uh, Hulk Hogan's got a question for you. He noticed in the West Ham game, we were so high that uh, we were leaving space and our, our half was nearly empty, he's saying. So he says, do you think this is a good idea? Because obviously we lost the goal with Antonio because he had so much space. And there was another time I remember in the second half where Bowen, Although we had two centre backs back, but he actually terrorised us, and I think he got a shot away or something. Well, to be honest with you, technically, that that should be safe enough. I just listen. It's bad I, defending, I, really. Isn't it? It's it was poor defending. defending, very especially from Colwell. That was horrible. But listen, you have to be honest and evaluate. You know, I'd like to say he did well, but he didn't. You know, we we should not have lost this game. That simple. Yeah. Uh, I think I, I wouldn't slag the manager off for the result because I think individuals didn't do their job yes. and it wasn't as if they were up against a Vinic Vinicius they were up against a guy who was just a big battering ram I think they bully. just had to shadow Yeah, yeah they just had to stand up to him and get in front of him and he would have had to go wide uh, the, uh, Cole was really weak and then Dezazi gave him too much space yes yeah. No, actually, when you look at the actual application in the whole game, Chelsea did very well. As I said, pot, pot, like, do you remember I was saying this last year? The coach gets way too much credit when the team wins and way too much blame when the team loses. He should not be taking responsibility for that loss. I'm talking about constructively speaking. Of course, he's always going to fall on the sword, but I, I'm talking about we lost this game not because of Poch. We lost this game because of execution and lack thereof. Yeah, but we had a lot of this last season as well, eh? But then it got to stage where... It's we reminiscent. Were, we weren't even playing well and we were losing. Yeah. It's frustrating when you play well and you lose, but when you're absolutely crap and you lose, it's not so good. <laughs> but I've 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 got hope. I've got hope. But we we need some of these guys game time. I I, I just hope Mudrick hasn't got some sort of niggle and it's going to, you know, this, this cannot sort continue. Of bend them in slowly. But if he's injured, he's not going to get any game time at all. And then we're going to go no further forward. Well, you know, I I I I fail to believe that we're going to pick up another injury. This would be calamitous. Yeah. I can't see any other team that's picking up. And they're all to young players, if you notice. So then we have to do an evaluation because the, the, we're either doing something wrong in training or medical staff or combination the, because it's it's too coincidental. Yeah. Uh, Metal Face Dumas said he would sign a prolific striker and play Michael Jackson in the 10. I, I would like to see a two up front, but I don't think it's going to happen because I don't think we can get a striker. We can't get we can them cheap enough one. and we can't get them on low enough wages because we spent a hell of a lot of money. So the thing is, we're going to end up with no way to buy players pretty soon, Roger. Yeah. I don't know if we can go as rich as us again. This this might be done. Yeah, I agree. So we're hoping that one of these strikers works out. You know these young boys that we're buying? We're hoping that one of them catches fire. Unless we can scrape somebody up like another Jackson. Because what we really need is we need another Jackson. Maybe 30, 40 million we can do that. But Osaman, 200 million or whatever it is they want for him, he'll be no, on big No, it's ridiculous. Wages. It's monopoly it's not, money, mate. It's not going to happen. And even even uh, this boy Tony Jink, he's going to come cheap. I don't think so. Minimum 70 million. Minimum. Yeah. Maybe more. And, and he's 26 or 27, isn't he? He's no young. I think he's older. 
Yeah, so you're not going to get any money back for him. Two or three years' time, he could yeah, be done. Yeah. And, and that isn't how the club's rolling. So I've got my doubts that we're going to go in for uh, that yeah, boy. Yeah, pl anyway. plus, plus his gambling issues. Yeah, so... I think that's a big problem. They backed away for the sponsorship because of gambling. I don't think they're going to take a player. It's like, for instance, you decide you're up, you, oh, I'm a dead against wife beating and all that, and then you sign somebody who had beat their wife. That, yeah, that's yeah. what it's like. It doesn't make sense. You can't sense do that. Me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Blue, True Blue Clay saying the subs were questionable. Yeah, I questioned the, the subs a little bit. Uh, if anything, but it's still early days, so I ain't slagging Poch for that. I take the positives out of the game and move. What did you think about Burstow getting game time and other players that have been balling out like Matson never got a nod? What do you, you think about that? Matson's perplexing me. I actually thought that he would get minutes the first two games because of how well he played in pre-season. I'm not sure whether this has anything to do with negotiating a new contract or not. One would hope that is not the case, but I actually thought that he would get a lot more minutes. He's got zero so far, right? Yeah. Uh, somebody's in questioning your, your brain here. But Roger, you've got a big, massive brain. A bit like me. I've got one of these big, massive brains. He's saying, <laughs> talking about fitness, I think it's an outdated idea to train so much and run so much. Resting more is better to be able to perform at the highest level. Yeah, like uh, Eden Hazard, who just rested a lot. That really worked <laughs> out. You've got Lukaku, yes. who rests a lot. No, what you've got to do is you've got to train really hard, and then you've got to recover hard. That's the exactly. difference. You've still got to do the work, but you, what you do is you go in ice baths, you go in oxygen tents, all this new technology, you get a yep. good sleep. Sports so, science. Look at Silva. Silva's like 38, 39 year old. The guy's an absolute athlete. Whereas at 38, 39 and it's the 70s, a body of a you know, they were, they were hobbling about like old men. Now, you have to be in peak physical shape. Otherwise, you're going to sustain a muscle injury. Strength and conditioning. Like I said yep. in the other show, in the army, you, you work your body really hard. Uh, and you know that you, we never got injuries and you're strong as an ox what yeah. I think the difference is with these guys is that athletes that get bigger muscles that aren't normal for normal people because like I, I, I did a lot of running a lot of working out and I could show you pictures of me in the ski team I, w I didn't look like Lukaku I didn't look like Reese James I didn't have big massive muscles you, you, normal people have got normal muscles some of these guys are either training certain muscles to get bigger or else it's just because you well, do it's a the younger thing. generational thing because like one of my best friends my college one of my college friends his son it's like arnold schwarzenegger they they just pump a lot of iron you know it's it's quite the the, the it's the fashion it's the rage look, to do it but look at midrick right he's still a slight boy you see him in the gym all the time he's cut because yeah he's he's ripped and he's not got big, massive, heavy muscle. The thing about it's Lukaku proportional, is, isn't it? Yeah, Lukaku got too much muscle, too much muscle, and then he's picking up little injuries all the time. So he can't. And same with Reese. I, I I look at Reese and I I see his his muscle mass maybe I don't know. And listen, I'm not I'm not. And he qualified. has slimmed down a bit, but he doesn't look like ripped. He's not ripped. You know what I mean? Yeah. His legs look a bit. No, I I don't know how to describe it. He's, he's not like total down to the muscle. He's, he's, he's got a slight covering, isn't he? He's not yeah. 100%. I'm really concerned that we've come to the realisation that he may never reach his full potential because of injuries. <laughs> Metal face doom. Yeah, this is true, Roger. Uh, players used to smoke at half time. And yeah. some, some of them even had a half a whiskey or whatever. Yeah. Uh, they, they or they would, play, they would play with a hangover. <laughs> Seriously, they admitted it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was at half time Patrick I, everybody thought they were getting an orange and a cup of tea eh? they yeah, were having a, orange, they were a, they were orange having, maybe they were having a half because yeah. that helped with their hangover for the night before and they were trying to get one or two cigarettes and what do you think Roger yeah they, they would listen compared to today's finely tuned athletes they pale in comparison they wouldn't be able to compete in today's game 
No, that's what it is, buddy. Uh, it's the science now. It really is. Yeah. There's the odd sneaky player that still smoked. Like that little boy that played for Arsenal, the little stocky guy with the bandy legs that was always...